I believe that for all of us, in whatever discipline, even within families, this idea of there being one person that we all relate to and think, how, how are you doing that? I want to do that. I want to make the magic you make. As a lover of a football, you who hacks at the grass, who hoofs around, hacking and chopping, and then you turn around and your teammates are gliding. Or there's one teammate who, might, who turns it into something balletic, beautiful. We can all relate to that, to somebody who elevates what is ordinary to something magical. And, uh, and that, that, in turn, I guess it foments a kind of a, a love-hate relationship with the idea of genius. I think you're gonna shit yourself! <laughs> yes, in a moment, Someone it's all you. going to be on the floor! Back. There's loads of letters that Mozart wrote to his father. He wrote a letter almost every week. And so you got a real insight into the way that he spoke and the way that he felt about things. There were smutty letters. They spoke about poo a lot. Yeah, <laughs> they spoke about feces yeah. regularly. He liked yeah. to interweave that into uh, just regular conversation. General chit-chat. General chit-chat, yeah. yeah. And sexual. It was extremely sexual. Shit all over the mattress and shout, I did it! He is somebody that realises the way he's supposed to behave and instead chooses the way he wants to behave. Musically, I find him to be radical, and so I thought I would like to update that, and that means to me David Bowie, Johnny Rotten and the Sex Pistols. The contemporary world is very visible and very part of, of the story because he feels so contemporary. And it's retrospective. You're looking back through Salieri's eyes and what he experienced. So I feel like everything is slightly um, left of field, slightly grotesque, um, because it's his memory and his experiences and you're going through it with him. We wanted to find an actor that would give us a new take on Salieri. And I think Salieri can be on the page a stereotypical villain. And Lucian brings more humanity to that character than I could ever have imagined was possible. And fundamentally, I think it's really important that we open up these stories. And if you want to know what Salieri looked like, you can Google him. We exist in a world of metaphor. We exist in a world of, of dreams and of limitless, boundless imagination. And if you're going to turn around and tell me that the only reason that you can't buy into the story is because of my lovely chocolatey hue, that's your problem. As for the music, it matched the coat completely. By having the orchestra on stage framed as a modern orchestra, you have, I guess, the keepers of our music today. And they are the people that Salieri is trying to influence. But I guess we know as an audience member that it's Mozart's music that we listen to and that they'll be playing 400 years down the line. High horns for their hunting. And drums for their horns. It's brought all kinds of new challenges. Yeah. Uh, usually we're used to sitting within our sections and you, you get very used to hearing certain instruments that are near you mm -hmm. and how to blend with them. Yeah. So the end result that comes across to the audience is a well-balanced sort of sound. We somehow need to make sure that the sound that eventually mm. comes to the audience is still that perfect blend. And all the more so because it's not like we're trying to do a sort of dumbed down version of Mozart. We're trying to play it as accurately and as faithfully as possible so mm. that the audience do genuinely feel like they could be at an opera. There was a moment when certain members of the cast just came along and whipped away the music stands, <laughs> which suddenly felt doing? a bit Get dumb. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but over time, it gives you so much more freedom. And we can become part of the action because then it kind of freezes up to move whilst playing as well. Yeah. It's really nice to get the opportunity to present that in a more dramatic way. Definitely. So that it really hits home how amazing some of Mozart's yes. music is and how powerful it can yeah. be. What Mozart must have been in the to be able to produce music or, or any art form so effortlessly, you're bound to have people that are jealous of that or people who, who wish that that, that was them because there's no rhyme or reason. 
so I can see why that might be regarded as, as a gift given from God. Salieri says, my sublime privilege is to be the sole man alive in this time who shall clearly recognize your incarnation. Are you going to be happy with that? The height of your achievement, your entire reason for being, is that you are the one who will herald the one. That is your gift. I think the play was called Salieri at one point in the first few drafts, and you could see why it should be. I think it's very cruelly indicative of what Salieri experiences, that he's not even allowed to be the star of his own play.